But actually, what I want to discuss with my Brazilian colleagues is that if we choose the intubations, mechanical ventilations, we believe that for this part of the patient, they might suffer from uh, accelerating dyspnea. So how do we evaluate this patient? The translong pressure or the driven pressures damage to the alveolus. How do we avoid this damage caused by dyspnea? How do we protect the functions of the lungs? We believe that we should check whether the patient is breathing quite hard. No matter the patient is under intubations or under the HFNC, we actually focusing on the how hard the patient breathes. What we want to avoid is a personal self-inflation, the patient deteriorated by themselves. If the patient has um, a lot of the traumas in their areolas, it is going to create the real damage in the uh, lung and also in the lung branches. Let me add up on my colleague. We think that we learned a lot and it actually inspired us a lot. At the very beginning, we actually cared a lot with the hypoxia the PO2 levels, but later on, we actually shifted our focus in the strength of the muscle. At the very beginning, we focusing on the PO2. We find that one deteriorating turning point is when the patient's muscle is getting worse with weak and weak strength. Another part in our day-to-day -day operations, we find that early stage ventilations, it is going to create uh, immediate problems, including the, the factions in the urinations and the problems in the blood pressure. So we should do a good preparations in this front. When we were doing the ventilations, because once the ventilation is on, if the patient have some of the immediate deteriorations, we cannot save the patient anymore. For all of these ventilations, we can actually group the patient out. If the patient arrived in our hospitals with ventilation, their mortality ratio is higher than the average mortality ratio in our hospital. Their mortality ratio is around 70%. To observe from their experience, early adoption of the ventilation might not be a very successful experience.